Howdy, howdy. Hi there. Welcome. So, uh, here you guys don't have a menu, right? No, we'll just chat you through it. And we'll throw together something special, especially for you. What's your middle name? Mike, uh, oh, sorry, my, my middle name? Yeah, just the middle one. Uh, Davis. Great. What are you feeling like today, Davis? Something complex, simple, paradoxical? Uh, just, you know, something simple, easy, you know, classic. Excellent. And are you good with dairy, or would you like to try one of our non-dairy options? We have almond, sorbet, banana, oat, coconut, cashew. Soy, rice, hemp, fake. Just milk, please. And how high is your threshold for unctuousness? Do you like awful? In ice cream? Would you say your biggest fear is regret or death? Uh... Tell me about bee stings. Like, have I had any? Oh, cool. If you could only pick one, ube or taro? I don't know what those are. They're tubers. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good, thank you. Favorite color? Now, really think about this one. Blue. No, come on, really think about it. <laughs> mm, blue. <laughs> Take a walk, think about it. When you're ready, come back. Sea foam. Great. Now tell me about your shower habits. It's been three days, right? No, I mean, no, I, sh I showered the other day. Is it a water conservation thing or are you just like that? No, okay, I don't know why any of this is relevant. Look, can I just get a banana split, whipped cream, cherry, no almonds, just the regular thing, but no almonds. So something comforting, familiar, makes you feel safe like you're still living at home. Okay, all right, see what you guys are doing. We're a special little ice cream artist and we're gonna make fun of the guy with the simple order because he's so basic. For your information, I moved out of my parents' place years ago. I'm a grad student. Getting your PhD. Second PhD, mid to late 19th century French Canadian philosophy. Not some guy in a basement, I'm a guy in a loft downtown. I got classes and a lot of important stuff to do. So if we could just- Right, like carefully crafting a social bubble that mirrors the safety of childhood. Using the comfortable familiarity and structure of school to avoid having to grow up and face what you perceive to be the real world. Clinging to a memory by wearing throwback sneakers, ironically, but not ironically. And though you flipped it inside out, presumably because of this stain, it's clearly a Ninja Turtles teeth. No, no, I, okay. You still think of yourself as blue, even though deep down you're ready for sea foam. But you're afraid to leave home. Why can't you leave home, Michael Davis Warren? Because when I was eight years old, I went on a vacation with my mommy and my daddy and we left my dog Boomer with my neighbor. And when we got back, Boomer was dead and we were there for him when he died. So if I leave home, the things I love die. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Here. But we also made you this. It's a bit more complex, a bit more you. Challenging, but worth it. Only if you think you're ready. It's a bit of a pallet bomb. I keep going. What's haggis? Push through the unfamiliar. Find the balance. Keep going. Mmm, bee pollen. Mm. You know, when you get it all together. It's okay, Michael. I'm in a better place now. It's time for you to be. Thanks, Boomer. You're a good boy. It's time for me to be a good man. I need to open a savings account. Um, sir, you need to pay for that. Let him go. Let him go. Gadoosh.
Happy Wednesday. Uh, the handle on your door is kind of wobbly. You might want to tighten the screws on that. Oh, we'll have to take a look at that. Thank you. So what is this place? Some kind of mom and pop Cold Stone knockoff? No, we're one of a kind. And our customers are too. What can we create for you today? Are you more into creams, sorbets? Well, full on ice creams can be too rich for me sometimes, but sorbets are usually too fruity. What are your feelings on a cookie crumble? Like, dislike, mostly dislike, neither like nor dislike, like to greatly dislike, medium dislike to moderate like, like to neutral, neutral to greatly neutral. Are you talking about Oreos? I like Oreos, fine. Great, and have you come to terms with your own mortality or would you describe yourself as blissfully ignorant to the inevitability of death? Well, I mean, I guess I've thought about it, but like- Fun, what's your top berry? Boysen, blue, rasp? Blueberries are great. Oranges? Hate them. Tell me about that. The rinds are usually a pain. If it's not ripe, it's just a lot of work for something that's super bitter. But then if it is ripe, I'm getting juice everywhere as I'm trying to get some just fine, but not so great fruit. I mean, honestly, I prefer orange juice. Let a machine take out the good parts, you know? Totally. And how many hours a day would you say you're on the computer? I don't know, six. Okay, seven or eight, I don't know. The raised capillaries on your eyelids would suggest at least 13 and a half on average. Well, I do, I do it for my job. I mean, I'm not some schlub looking at my phone all day. I am a video game QCer, which means that I basically... Find flaws and glitches in the levels to notify programmers on what's breaking the game? Well, yeah, exactly. But you're never the one to fix them. No, that's not part of the gig. And is work the only place you're looking for flaws? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I notice stuff sometimes. Like where? Uneven woodwork in my hardwood floors. Twizzlers that aren't the same size. Continuity errors in movies. Stuff like that, I don't know. What about in yourself? Do those same inner critics find things they think they can't fix in there? Who are you people? Scoopers. Listeners. Yeah. Humans. Well, everything's just kind of blah lately. Like, I thought moving out here across country was gonna be so much fun. And honestly, it's just been a, a lot of work. And work was supposed to be my dream, but even a dream gets kind of routine after a while. And now I can't shut up this negative voice inside of my head that's just kind of saying to me, I'm not even good enough to enjoy the nice things in my life. So I'm just running through the levels and then clocking out. It's like, okay, I'm good enough to find all the problems, but I'm not good enough to fix anything, including myself. Scraping in hallway three is glitching character leg pixels. Oranges kind of suck. Oranges. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're exactly who you're supposed to be. Nobody's gonna make you eat an orange. <sighs> that was incredible. The flavors, it, it, it tasted like a Nova Scotian beach. <laughs> Muddled grass from Halifax. Picked up on the subtle Canadian accent from your father's side. Yeah, oh wow, we used to go there in summers growing up. I mean, this didn't look like much, but it was perfect. No, no you're, you're perfect. perfect. <laughs> Leave it. Was that too much? You're perfect? Too much, right? A little preachy, but we were just so in sync. I didn't want to make it Oh, stop. I mean, it just felt so great. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, she didn't pay, did she? I don't even know why we own a register at this point. And do you like cherries? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but not the ones with pits, the like bright red ones you get at bars, you know? And what's our favorite salt these days? Himalayan pink, fleur de sel? Uh, table? Great. And how many pets have you had in your life? Not including birds, obviously. Uh, I, I just want some ice cream. Sorry, sorry, I got a, a Nosh car pickup for, uh, Sarah. Oh, there you go. Oh. Quick sample before you go. Uh, no, sorry, thank you, uh, no time, bye.
Now, where are we on sumac? Uh, Hickory reminded you of that moment in New Hampshire. Yeah, I mean, I never thought my mom would actually remarry, but there he was, proposing. I, uh, sorry, uh, Nashkar for um, Hunter? N Davis, sorry, it's for Davis, that's my bad. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, left-hand dominant, cool. And then everyone in the Benihana's was just standing up applauding. And it was at that moment that I realized that my childhood was over. Wow, that was beautiful. Did I pick up on cilantro in there? No, that was so genius. And of course, the vanilla bean was grown in a room full of pictures of strawberries. That explains everything. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to my stepdad. He deserves forgiveness. <laughs> Okay, what is this place? Just an ice cream shop, man. Let us whip something special up for you on the house. Do you usually go for something chocolatey, fruity, medicinal? Chocolatey? Are you drawn to fireworks or laser shows? Fireworks, I guess. And how does this taste? There's nothing on the spoon. Right, how does it taste? Yep, as expected. So, I gotta get going. The, the orders were for Marcus and Patricia. Totally. Order's coming up. How long have you been paying off those credit cards? Sorry? Notice four in that wallet slot on the back of your phone. They look to have wear and tear in descending order. And holding down three jobs simultaneously? How do you? The black non-slip shoes from your bar back job, the paper cuts on your fingers from your weekend movie ticket tearing. It's felt frustrating scrambling for cash to gain freedom. I'm never being free to take a break. All this work for other people, but when was the last time you took a moment? For yourself. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, it's the it's the credit card thing. It's just like it feels so hard to get out from under it. I feel like I'm chipping away a little, but with the stress of all these jobs, I feel like I'm bad at at least one of them at all times. My mom had this talk with me at Thanksgiving that scared me into realizing like I really need to take care of this now. The worst part is I feel like I could get a handle on all of this and be out of the woods on everything in like three months if I had just just one second to slow down and, and catch up on everything. But I, I don't date, I don't have time or money. I have all these business ideas, but I can't get anything started because I can't afford to get anything off the ground. I feel like I'm drowning. I feel like I can't catch up on anything. And I'm like, here. Sunday. You don't need a Sunday. You need a Friday night. No, wait. Party's awesome, man. How long have I been here? 17 years. Oh, cool. I think I'm ready to go back. Sorry. Oh my god. What year is it? What was that? That was a malted baking chocolate base with a mezcal cream and pop rocks. Wow. <laughs> hey, I had no idea how bad I needed that break. Sometimes when you're drowning, you just need that little gasp of air at the surface to see the island. Thank you. Wow, I feel rested. I feel ready. Three more months and I'll be through the woods and I'm launching my company. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a new dating app. You, you open it up and it tells you the date. Hmm. Oh, don't forget the orders. You're gonna want refunds. We should hire a financial advisor. Can we afford that? I don't know. We'll ask them. Gadoosh. Mmm. Oh, that's cute. Oh, not cute. Oh, too cute. Yes. Nope. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Oh, well, aren't you both cute with the aprons? This place, oh my gosh, very aesthetic. Got a real like kids as adults kind of vibe. Like we don't know how to do business, but here's what we think it would look like kind of thing. Love it. Oh, uh, thank you. How did you hear about us? Oh, you're blowing up online. Kobe L gave you a shout out. Dana J said good things. Pete M, everybody. Peter R, everybody. I had to stop by and give a review. Oh, great. For Yelp? Yelp Elite.
Oh, wow. Well, what are you in the mood for today? Surprise me. Perfect. We typically like to get to know the person first and custom tailor something based on their unique preferences. Oh, great. I'm an open book. <laughs> awesome. Do you like a toffee or a brittle? A praline. Okay. Favorite nightshade? Bell pepper. And how old were you when you were told Santa wasn't real? <gasps> oh, no nutmeg, please. You said that because inevitably I'd have had a traumatic event when losing the magic of the holiday. Likely around said holiday where cinnamon, peppermint, and nutmeg were ever present. Tasting one would evoke a moment of childhood bliss and simplicity, but which one? Well, those leaves back there are spearmint, not peppermint. And any sort of extract would be an immediate zero stars for me. So, cinnamon or nutmeg? Well, Happy Fingers over here was switching towards the microplane. Boom! Nutmeg. Which I find to have a dominary fragrance, so no nutmeg, please. How did he know that? I don't know. Just keep it going. Great, we'll hold the nutmeg. Something fruit forward? I prefer fruit backward. A strong fruit finish that you can taste ascending mid-bite. Where do you stand on truffle? On its grave. What is it, 2014? How do you feel about smoked fish in an ice cream? Hickory smoked or oak? I was thinking maple or mesquite. I prefer applewood or cherrywood. Ever try elderwood? <gasps> hmm. Haven't. Nice. I think I blacked out for a second. And would you say thinking of the word purple or the word home tastes better? Purple is sweeter, home is richer. Balsamic or apple cider? Rice wine. Volcano or Dante's Peak? Dante's Peak. And have you always been tormented by what your parents think of you, or has that been more of a later in life realization? <laughs> nice try. I happen to have a great relationship with my parents. Oh, well the fact that you're wearing lensless glasses gives a different impression. Why do you say that? Well, you clearly have excellent vision. You're looking at your phone up close and you're also distinguishing mint leaves from a distance. So it would seem your glasses are a purely aesthetic choice. You have visibly dry eyes, an obvious sign of LASIK surgery. You used to use glasses, don't need them anymore, but still wear them. Why? Is it because you liked the way you looked then or they did? Still trying to make them proud? Most Yelpers go by first name, last initial. But I can see your profile from here. You got LASIK too. And you go by first initial, last name. L. Cartwright. You've yelped hard for that elite status. You want the family to share in the esteem. But will it ever be enough for them? Plastic spoon okay? Yes. What was that? You tell us. I've never tasted anything like that. No one ever has? It was a new flavor? No human has ever tasted this. <laughs> and no one will again. It existed just for you in this exact moment. It wasn't sour, you know, but it wasn't, wasn't sour. <laughs> the rice wine then, the taste of tartar, the texture of the tartare. But more than anything, the man I was while tasting it, free of ego. Cool. Love that. Thank you. Truly, thank you. But how am I to possibly review a flavor that is impossible to describe with the words that we have? I am only left to review myself. Talk to type. Review of me. Leonard Cartwright, now open. Open and vulnerable. Leonard is complex and beautiful, with room for improvement. Three stars.
think I need a break. Yeah, that was hard. Gadoosh!